third day at uh, Printing United here in Las Vegas. And I mean, just look at the booth. We are here at Standard Finishing that presents and represents both Hunkler and uh, Horizon here in North America. Uh, Paul, uh, great to see you. I understand that what we see here is basically a, a debut in, in North America, right? That's correct. It's the new debut of the uh, Hunkler DocuTrim. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we should dig into it in, in a moment, but I just have a few questions before we get to that. If you look at the North American market, I think it's a market that all of us would be really in, interested in getting you know, huge market shares with. Yes. I think Hunkler, as a Swiss company, is a great example of uh, great engineering, high quality, high reliability to the technology that you provide. Does that resonate also in your ears or? Yes, it does. It does. We've been, uh, we've been working with the continuous feed solutions with Hunkler now for uh, over 20 years mm -hmm. in, the, in the U.S. or North American marketplace. And the DocuTrim is a new, new area we're getting into the cut sheet processing from digital output. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting for us to beginning to that new area. And I take that it is also interesting because, I mean, if I look at the history, I mean, uh, congratulations on your hunters at the anniversary this year, right? But when I, I look at, at Hunkler also from a product perspective, at least for the, since the 70s, it was very much into the transactional print, right? That's correct. But now it's moving also more, way more into the graphic art because of the technology on the printing side gets interesting in that perspective. That's correct, yeah. that's correct. Yeah, and, and even particularly in the commercial print side, it's expanding very quickly. Um, and if, right. and then when you then say that DocuTrim is, because I mean, I, I actually made an error because I spoke to one of, of your uh, colleagues in Switzerland some month ago, because I thought it was new for Hunkler to be in Kochi, but you have actually a vast history in, in Kochi before you really focused on role based right? That's correct, that's correct. And the reason I'm asking about this is mainly because I think it's important for people to know that even though this is a new product, you have a lot of knowledge about uh, how to handle cut sheets as well. Yes, particularly in the, in the, in the processing aspect of it, the perforating, slitting, cutting, stacking and collating. Uh, there's a long history of that with Hunkler and uh, this is just another a gyration of that to fit a particular marketplace in the cut sheet digital world. And uh, now we're here at Printing United. That's right. How has the show been? Has it been interest for the machine? The show has been very, very positive. I think the, uh, the, the people coming here are, are, are very excited to come out to the show floor again. It's been over three years almost and a lot of excitement there, a lot of excitement on this product. And as a matter of fact, we had a prospect that came in and verified what we were talking with them at and signed an order at the show, which we're very excited about. So, so that is a company that we see on the sign there, That's right? correct, yeah, yeah. that's correct. So, so they, they can't wait for you to get uh, the show closed so you can they get the machine, right? That's right, we have to do a few more things before that, but yes, they're very excited about it. And we're excited that so quickly we got our first, first opportunity. I can't remember 100%, but I think of uh, standard finishing when, when you have been exhibiting at, at Graph Expo and also the, the, the previous uh, uh, Printing United that you didn't have such big booths as you have this time. Yes, we, we, uh, we, we decided to, to, to go with this good sized booth with all the time that's gone by without a trade show. We made the commitment, you know, we had to decide on this a while back, you know, a couple of years ago actually. And, uh, but we're excited we'd made that decision because uh, we needed every inch of this space to show all our new solutions and, and uh, it's worked out very well for us. And, and the reason I'm asking is just because when you look at the show generally, with so much equipment, it seems that a lot of people really like to have the opportunity to, you know, you know, go and, and kick tires and see the competition and, you know, really uh, uh, things. So is it worthwhile having a booth this size, you think, or? Oh, yes, we, we, there's no question. We, yeah. uh, I think we're even considering a little bit larger for next year as well. But really? Okay. but really having the product and having the, showing the solutions, actual live jobs and solutions is very important for the prospects and the customers because they see they can actually touch, feel, as you say, kick the tires. It's, it's very important for their decision making. So should we go and kick some tires? Sure, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. So uh, just for the audience to understand what we have here, we have, tell me what we see here. Yeah, so basically the docu trim's available. As you see here is a, is a near line solution. It's got an automatic feeder and it goes to a first section of, of perforating and slitting. It takes a directional change and goes to the second section for slitting in the other direction. It also is, can be configured in line with a, with a digital press as well. So you have near line and in line configuration in the system. Um, the, the, the value of this is, is that sheet processing and, and taking off of a, a, a roughly about 20 by 14 inch sheet and cutting it down to a finished product for made about four different marketplaces, the transactional print, transpromo, uh, direct mail, as well as commercial print or book marketplace. So yeah. 
has a lot of areas that fits into as far as the application. And if you look at it also from the perspective that that uh, both in the in the B2 format uh, for a 20 inch uh, um, uh, toner base like Indigo's, and if you look at at the the, the Kochi now with the Z75 from uh, Rico, it seems yeah. that this is a market where some of the print OEMs they really consider having. Uh, a uh, cut sheet, big sizes, that where you need machinery like this. That's correct. To utilize the print, right? And to be flexible, and and also fits the marketplace in the IX from Canon yeah, as well. I that remember. sheet size. Just, so. I was just thinking because that's a little bit short, smaller sheet size. That's but correct. but you would definitely need things like this when you have like bigger size, fast machines, right? So that's correct. And the processing part of it in the digital side is a little different than the traditional offset side where they go to guillotine cutters. This is a different way to do it and keep your integrity of the sets and so forth from the digital output. Well, now you said one thing that is, uh, is a little of interest to me because you mentioned that that you need to have like uh, you know fast turnaround time. It's a machine because I mean it sounds to me like complexity with the knives and all the settings and slitters and perforations and everything you can do with these things. Yes. How easy is it to operate? It's fairly easy. Uh, typical on all the hunker equipment, we have the large touch screen, yep. have the capability to save jobs and parameters, and that uh, with that once it's programmed and put in there. Pulling those formats out and changing the machine over is relatively quick and doesn't require a very high skill level of operator. So there's not a lot of manual setup in the machine. You're basically, you can uh, you recall the programs directly from here? You or? can recall the programs. There's some automation, there's some manual, but yeah. all the directions and, and walking the operator through the changeovers is all done through the user interface. Okay. Um, you have a, a product in the machine right now. Can we see it run? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's, uh, That's not your job, maybe. No, it's not. Simon? <laughs> <laughs> we run a few through. Sure. Hey yeah. Simon, sorry that was unplanned, but I yeah. want to see it run, right? <laughs> I thought it was part of the plan, but I want to see it run. Sure, right, sure so, thing. Yeah. yeah. So you have the the feeder here, of course. Yeah, it's feeding it uh, landscape style yeah. in this application, um, and uh, I think we're low on the print stock, but it's going to feed the blank paper, I oh, believe. Okay, but okay, okay. We can just focus up on here. Sorry I think, to, to that's okay. uh, challenge things, but that's uh, I, everybody will understand this. So there's no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Was that because that was the last sheet? sheet? Yeah, that's the fixed sheet. So I ah, okay. the setup. Yeah. That's why I didn't okay. want to take that. Okay, but that's that actually that is actually a good sign because that that is an error uh, correction from the machine side, right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it goes fast now. So yeah. here we're we're feeding in, going through the first section, and we as we go through this section, we can slit, we can perforate. Uh, we could do skip perforation for various direct mail applications. Mm -hmm. And then we come into a cross section where we have a dual directional belt system where we change direction of the paper. Mm -hmm. And the paper travels through here and comes through another series of perforators and slitters. Mm -hmm. And then comes in down into the, the Hunkler stacker and will gives us an output of offset stack or straight stack depending what the application requirement is. And based and, on what, the, what you have decided for that particular job, of course. Right, and the next downstream process. Mm -hmm. Basically, typically in the book, uh, uh, book publishing marketplace, we do offset stacking so it can easy for the operator to take that to the next process of binding and trimming in that, in that as well. What always surprises me uh, when, I, when I see Hunkle equipment, it is for, for so much uh, uh, output, it's still very uh, low noise level, right? Very low, yeah. yes. Yeah. They're very good with that. The, the cutting mechanism they use, the rotary cutting, is very, is very quiet, yeah. uh, very well sealed off from the, from the covers and uh, from the safety aspect, but also a noise aspect, yeah. very, very quiet. What I also think is important to mention, uh, of course, the people that know Sunkla already know this, but you have a very modular design, so you can basically uh, build the machines to whatever application Applications you Applications require, yeah. yes. And we're not going to take a demo on that, but you have a machine in the back, and that's a cut stacker. Yes, the other de uh, new product we're debuting, the, the Hunkler Cut Stack line is nothing. It's been on the market now for several years on the Generation 8, but now we also have it coupled in a, what we call a combination solution. And what that does is we, the, uh, we can do cut sheet output and stack delivery from a roll, but we also can bypass the stack delivery and go straight into a saddle stitcher the new Horizon uh, Stitch Liner Mark V, Five, which yeah, has its yeah. new debut in the show as well. Okay, because we actually made a film from that from a German customer, like it was like a pizza customer in, in Germany, and they were they were so happy with it. So uh, yeah. so this setup is typically like if you do brochures or uh, collaterals or uh, small manuals, things like that, That's and correct. then you basically have from roll to to a stitch product, basically. To, 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 cut, to cut stack product, yeah, yes, to yeah. stack. Yeah. And actually this configuration, uh, we're installing the first installation of the Mark V. We're in the customer's application here at the show. 
Um, but very excited about it. It's a commercial printer that is migrating from offset to digital and uh, completely changing its operation over to a digital process. And I take that is where the opportunities in the future is, I mean, the, the, the transformation from analog to digital, right? That's correct. Yeah. That's is that something you see a lot right now? Or? We are seeing it, especially uh, in the web world, in the offset web process, more and more looking at digital challenges with skilled labor and so forth is driving that as well and also the technology and the quality that's, that's improved on the inkjet continuous feed uh, products. And do I see a sold sign on that one as well? Uh, that one is uh, that one is, was sold already previously, not this okay. particular unit, okay. but that customer was, is, we're actually doing the installation of the first one. Just because I saw it looked like that from the distance, but I didn't yes. have my glasses so I couldn't see it clearly, yeah. right? No, that, that's, that's uh, we have that exact configuration being installed at the customer's location as we speak. Fantastic. Paul? Great talking to you. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, very good, Morton. Thank you.